Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for a Wednesday, April 28th. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. <clears throat> if you would like a Capricorn love reading, I do those over on my other channel. And I will, it's called All About Romance, and I will put a link down below. All right, I feel like that one wanted to come out. We have the Five of Swords reversed. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. And then we have the Four of Cups. I feel like you're not listening. I feel like you are not listening to the chatter of other people and you're not letting other people affect you today. You're like, I'm going to do what I want to do today and I'm going to do it my way. And you either take it or you leave it. I looked at the bottom of the deck and I saw this card and I feel like that is relevant to that because you had an awake because you're having an awakening like you're like you know what I've realized that I've let too many people tell me what I should be doing or I've let their opinions affect how I feel about something and I need to just let that go and I need to do what it is that I feel best that is best for me even if they don't like it and if they want to talk about it that's fine. But I have to do what's right for me. And sometimes that's hard to do. Because you don't want to upset people. Like if you're, you know, if you're a people pleaser, I'm a people pleaser. I always think about what other people's feelings first before mine and that's that's been a lesson that I've been trying to work on to hear what other people have to say but still being able to make those choices that are best for me um, so we have judgment we have the king of cups we have the two of wands and then we have the seven of swords so yeah I definitely feel that it is about you um, just going with the flow with what you want to do and taking those first steps for you to make those decisions that you want to make you know um, maybe something didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to and you know you're I feel like you're just taking your opinions and then you're just moving on with that like you're leaving those those ones that are not useful to you you're leaving those behind because you're like that's not doing me any good um, and and doing that you're feeling really satisfied you're feeling happy you're like yeah like I'm glad that I've done that um, you're feeling like yourself again. You're feeling... <laughs> and then the Capricorn card comes out. You're feeling like yourself again. Um, you know, you're feeling like you. Because sometimes we have people around us that maybe you've, you're, you lose who you are because you're so vested in, in who they are and you're trying to mold yourself to be the way that they want you to be, but then you lose yourself in that. Um, I've definitely had those relationships that has happened to me. So maybe um, for you, it's that same thing where it's like you're like bound to this person, but you're not feeling like you. And then we have the Princess of Cups. Oh, I guess the girls have their what to say this morning. Gertrude? Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. So maybe this week or today, you really need to look at a relationship and 
Gertrude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Gertrude. Mommy can't concentrate, okay? Mommy needs to focus. See, other people are trying to tell you things. <coughs> You're trying to focus on your own thing, just like I'm trying to focus on this. <laughs> All right. So taking that time to really analyze a relationship that you have, whether that's with a friendship, a family member, or a partner, and listening to your inner voice about what is your feeling on this do you feel like you're able to voice your opinion do you feel like you're being you do you feel like you're being heard and then we have the knight of swords we have the three of pentacles we have the death card we have the eight of cups and the ace of pentacles so there may be like when i saw this i thought, thought maybe there was a breakup you know may, maybe you need to reevaluate a relationship that you have with with someone and you need to decide, is this really a good relationship for me? Um, is this really something, you know, am I feeling obligated? Am I feeling bound to this person? Am I feeling chained to this person? Am I feeling held back from this, you know, held back because this person is like controlling? Um, and I feel like there's some of you out there that really need to look at some of those relationships and it's gonna take some work. Um, you know, to really look at this and sometimes we have to readjust our relationships with people because they're toxic and sometimes you have to maybe keep them at arm's length instead of letting them so close and not tell them as much things and not you know, still maybe have a relationship with them, but more of like from a distance because it's too toxic to have them close. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, and Six of Wands. This is definitely something that's going to take you some time. I feel like this is, you know, you've been knowing that this is something that you need to do, that you, you're not happy in this relationship and you're you know that you have to make some adjustments in this relationship, but you've come to the point where you're like, yeah, it's, it's time for me to move forward. It's time for me to make this decision. Do I keep this person in my life, but I, but I back away? Do I just move on from this relationship? You know, what are those things that I need to do that are best for me because I'm not feeling like me. I'm not feeling strong. I'm not feeling like I'm being heard and I need to make some adjustments. And I, th I think that's a really hard thing to do. Um, but once you do that, I feel like it's going to be really rewarding for you. You're really going to get back to feeling like yourself. We've got the wheel, we've got the magician, we've got the moon, and we've got the prince of swords again. And it's going to take you some time. I feel like the moon is represent some, representing time. And we have the wheel, which represents, you know, again, time and change. And then we have the magician, which represents you have the power to take control of this situation. Okay? And that's what you have to remember. That this is your life. This is your decisions. And you have to do the things that work best for you. And you have the power to do that. And this is something, like I said, is going to take some time. Um, because you don't want to be hasty in any decisions. You want to make sure that when you make this decision that you feel comfortable that, yeah, I did the, the thing, I did what was best for me. And if people can't understand that, then I feel like they don't truly, they're not truly on your side because they're just being selfish and, and thinking about themselves. This may be a relationship that you, because I'm looking at this um, Six of Cups, this may be a relationship that you've been in with someone for a really long time. I'm feeling like it's more like a friendship rather than a partnership, but it could be whatever relates to you. That it may be a friendship that you sort of outgrown. You know, there are people that come into our lives, we learn things from them, we have our time with them, and then it's time to move on. 
and maybe that's what this situation is is that this relationship is sort of where it's time for you to move on from this relationship because you've got the prince of swords twice and that means forward and i feel like you are charging forward like yourself um and then we have so on to the six of cups we have the seven of cups we have the higher front and then we have the fool. So having that new start, having that new beginning, it's a little overwhelming for you. I feel like you're being overwhelmed by this person. Like you're having a lot of energy. You're having a lot of thought. You're, you have a lot of decisions that you need to make with this person. But it's about, you know, it's a friendship that you've had for a long time. But it's like you need, you need a new start with this. And you need to reevaluate this relationship that you're having with this person. And is this really good for me or is this toxic? Um... So let's do the Capricorn. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. You're holding yourself back because I feel like it's something that you've been thinking about doing, but you just haven't done it. And I feel like you're at the point for today. Maybe today is the first step. You know, today is that first day, that first opportunity for you to deal with the situation and to look at it. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's it's a new start. It's a new beginning. Um, and I feel like it's going to be very rewarding for you, um, even though it's going to be some tough decisions for you. For the Eight of Cups, we have Page of Sword. This has been delayed. This has been something you've kind of been thinking about for a long time. And now is t the time for you to go ahead and do that. We have the Knight of Pentacles. There's some positive changes, happiness, and again, um, the Two of Swords. Making that decision. You don't have all the information yet. There are still some things that you have to work on, that you have to think about, that you have to process, but you're going to be really happy. There's going to be some changes. You're going to be making some changes um, that you're really going to feel happy about. You're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel... Oh, why didn't I do that earlier? Um, but I feel like today is that first day of you recognizing this and saying, okay, I have to make some changes in my life with the people that I'm surrounding myself with and am I surrounding... I feel like there's one person in particular that you know that you have to make this, this, this change with. Um... All right, let's get this. <laughs> Gertrude has a lot to say. All right, so this one flipped over. And we have marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. And I feel like this, Gertrude, can you just give me one more minute, please? I feel like this pertains to yourself, that you're feeling more fulfilled because you're making those decisions that are best for you. And maybe you, you haven't been happy. And maybe you've been wanting to make some changes and you just haven't done that. And by make, realizing this today and making those changes, that you're feeling more, you're feeling positive, you're feeling lighter, you're feeling happy. And other people are seeing that in you. And that could be attracting someone you know that may be bringing somebody new into your life because they see oh look that person looks happy like that person is giving off this energy of positivity and they're feeling good and positive and I want to get to know that person so that could bring in somebody new in your life maybe new friendships maybe new partnerships you know whatever that may be um, and that's, you know, the energy that you're bringing in. Once you adjust this ener this negative energy that you're feeling held back on. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Gertrude, thanks you. <laughs> Gertrude, so silly. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.